everyone, it's Riggs here. Appreciate you watching, and we have another open cart surgery where I try to fix your broken games. Maybe you have a broken game that you want to donate for the good of the cause. You can always uh, send it to me in the address below. I say donate because if I can get it fixed, I can always turn it around and give it away either live at a convention or I can give it away to uh, somebody watching. Luis sent me this one. He said it's been like water damaged or something, <laughs> so I'm afraid to look at it. But I'm up for a challenge. Let's have a look. Ugh. Can you tell what that is just by looking at it? I see you. He used to be Moonwalker. Such a fun game for the Sega Genesis. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. And like Paul Mooney said before he started getting ideas, Michael Jackson was no pedophile. The guy lied for money. He was no pedophile but he was X-Files. A little weird. Let's open it up and see what it looks like on the inside. For Genesis games, I am using the 4.5 millimeter Star Torx bit. Mm -hmm. Oh dear Lord. Corrosion galore. Oh, I don't know. Ah, why? You know, I suppose we could have popped it in first, but I don't want to pop it in just willy-nilly. Oh. Dude, I don't know. Uh, we could probably unsolder the game and put it in another board. We could try that. Well, first, let's try the old-fashioned method 1-up card. Uh, Brasso may or may not. Um, well, well, we'll try a couple things first, and then if not, then we'll try that. Let's try the one-up card. Wish me luck. I don't even know why I'm trying this. It's not gonna work. Not with this much damage. Ah. Not with this much damage. Not with this much corrosion and stuff. All right. I'm risking putting it in my CDX here. <laughs> I probably shouldn't. That's not something to pop up there. Nope. No, it's not gonna work today. Do I dare try the Brasso? I don't yeah. think so. Should I? Yeah. All right. I'll try the Brasso. I mean, it already looks pretty mutilated. I don't know. Yeah, it's a brass polisher. So these pins could certainly use it. It's not bad. With water damage, man, it's so hard to, you know, what do you do, just put it in rice? I mean, that's, <laughs> it's, it's not an iPhone, it's a Genesis game, and a great Genesis game at that. I really want this to work. I really do. All right, this one doesn't do it. We'll try another alternative here. You see a blip for a second. You see a blip for a second, but all right. I'm gonna try something else here. This game may or may not work anymore, but to find out, I'm gonna remove this and I'm gonna pop it in a test board to see if it works. So the first thing I gotta do, I'm gonna unsolder this because man, I think this board is shot. Instead of using my usual Hako 808, I'm gonna use this little $20 bulb sucker desoldering iron um, because I can and because my 808 is back again having problems and I just need to fix it, but haven't done it yet. But this works all the same. Ah, my thumb. <laughs> I really need to invest in one of those, uh, like the Hako FR300 or something like that. Oh, maybe I'll put it on my Christmas wish list this year. Anyway, let's pop this out subtly. Oh yeah, that's right. Boy. Forgot how easy these Genesis uh, ROMs are to remove. Just use your fingers. I didn't even need to use my EEPROM lifter. Now this will be another video for another time, but these socket boards are wonderful because you can use them to test out games, or if you're like me, you can also use them to put them in various boards and make, uh, you know, a test game, play through it, and then race over it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I have one of these set up for this one. This is the uh, this is the 512. Uh, Michael Jackson Moonwalker is half a man game, so. Gonna pop it right in there. All right, so it's on a compatible board. If this works, then we know the game is fine. Just that the board, uh, the, you know, the game board was shot. 
so far it's not looking too good either. Come on. Work. Please work. It's always the hard part when I can't fix it. I can't fix all of them. You know, I've, I have a pretty good success rate. But water damage, I mean, it was hard to say. It really was. Um, and believe it or not, I have seen worse that I have gotten to work. Uh, but in this case, I don't know what happened. Um, man, such a good game, too. Didn't want to go to waste. So, uh, Luis, I'm sorry, dude. Man, this sucks. <laughs> Better luck next time, right? And thanks for watching. Appreciate you uh, hanging out with me for a while. Uh, now I'll go curl up in a fetal position in the corner and <laughs> I don't want to do anything. Thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you.